Hello, this is Ms. Dooley, Assistant Principal for Academic Affairs, and welcome to the 2020-2021 course selection. Please watch in its entirety so you don't miss out on any important information. Some dates to remember include March 25th, when course selection opens for all freshmen, sophomore, and junior students. On April 2nd, course selection will be closed at 3 p.m. and you will no longer be able to choose any classes. Therefore, they will be chosen for you. On April 3rd, a Google form will be due from Parents and Guardians. And this form simply lets us know that your parent or guardian went through the process with you. They understand the courses that you chose and they agree with them. There'll be more to come about that toward the end. It's important to know that work rosters are not possible, nor are requests for early dismissals or study halls. Those things only happen when there are no other options due to the way the roster is constructed. You need to take at least six courses. I will roster you for a lunch, so you don't need to worry about that. Make wise choices. Be sure not to take a course just because you heard the teacher was wonderful and you really wanted to have that teacher. Chances are that teacher may not be teaching that course next year. I'm excited to tell you that we have a lot of new courses lined up for next year and some of the teachers are teaching other things. So please do not use the teacher as a reason to take a course. Think about your future, plan ahead. So what do you think you might want to do when you move on from Archbishop Ryan? What course can you take now that will help you on your journey to move forward? Talk to your teachers, talk to your counselors, talk to myself or Mr. McFadden about the courses, and most of all, talk with your families. Make sure that you are initiating conversation regarding this. Level changes are decided by your current teachers, department chairs, and myself. You can begin speaking with your teachers now. Now is the time. Do not wait until you get back to school because by then it will be too late. You can email, you can remind, or you can use Google Classroom and the like. So you want to do it now, as in immediately, because you will be doing course selection from home this year. You will be doing this at home while you are not able to come in our building. This needs to get done by a certain time. So we need you to really focus and have these conversations with the people that are going to help guide you. Remember, students are placed in classes based on teacher recommendations, PSATs, and performance series. All that data coming together is what is going to help guide your teachers as to what the best course of action for your academics are. So right now, the teachers have been out as you have been and in the middle of preparing classes for you and, and doing Hangouts and Zooms, they have been working on their recommendations. So it's important for right now for you to reach them if you have any comments or concerns. Where do you start with your course selection? Well, you go to the school website, click on academics, and then if you look at the very bottom of that strand that came down, course selection, you're going to click on that. And as soon as you do, you will see a screen that looks like this. All of your primary courses, your, mand your mandatory courses that you must take will be listed at the top. If you look at the gold arrow, you'll see it pointing to a pencil icon. That pencil icon, once you click on that, will take you to a screen that looks like this. So if you have several options from which you can choose, you will see those options listed. Some for some courses or for some people, you may just have one option. It all depends on the course, the year, the student. So if you are 
an honor student looking to get into an AP and you qualify based on the data that your teacher has collected, then your teacher will recommend you for both AP and honors. If you are a CPL student and your teacher believes that due to the to um, viewing all the data, that person believes that you can certainly be um, successful in an honors class, then you will see both CPL and honors, and then it would be your choice as to which one you want to go to. After you make your choice, you click in the square, you go over to the right-hand corner of the bottom and click OK. Then you will go back to this screen, and when you finish doing all the primary courses that you have, underneath that it will say semester elective or yearly elective alternates. Choose two alternates. If you do not choose two alternates, they will be chosen for you. You may not select an alternate that has already been selected as a course elsewhere. So in other words, if you really wanted AP English, you cannot choose it as your elective because you chose it up top in the ELA portion. You may not choose it twice. So what's an alternate? In the event that a course cannot fit your roster, you will need to have an alternate selection. It's important to select at least two because sometimes I need at least two. Um, there are times then, you know, at that point that maybe one of those alternates just doesn't even work. There are multiple reasons why you may not get your primary selection, but please know that every attempt to provide you with your first choice is made. We are not interested in just pulling out courses for you. We want to give you what you want. We want to give you what interests you, and we want to give you what will help you be the most successful. So please choose an alternate. If alternates are not chosen, then I will need to choose for you. For those of you who are going to be seniors next year, you are required to take theology and English, plus one of the following, and then everything else will be electives. So plus one of the following includes everything that is bulleted. Please notice that it, the very first one says any AP course. That does not include the English AP course. English is a requirement, so that AP course does not qualify, but any other does. So you can choose any other AP course, comparative government and economics, pre-calculus and trig, or just trigonometry, a fourth year world language, anatomy and physiology, physics, or pathology, which is a new course this year. So please make sure that you pick at least one. Holy Family University offers courses on our campus at Archbishop Ryan High School to any eligible junior or senior. By taking these courses, you will receive Archbishop Ryan credit as well as um, an unofficial college transcript from Holy Family University. Eligible students must carry a minimum of five Archbishop Ryan courses. The cost per course to Ryan students is approximately $200 plus the cost of books. The courses that they offer are Intro to Sociology and Social Problems, Intro to Criminal Justice and Law Enforcement. These courses are offered during first and eighth periods. If you take Intro to Sociology, you must take Social Problems the second semester. First semester, Intro to Criminal Justice. Second semester, Law Enforcement. That is approximately $400 for each double course. We also offer AVLI courses. You may have heard students talk about JVLA. Well, JVLA is no longer called JVLA. It is now AVLI, Arupe Virtual Learning Institute. These courses are all online. Your teachers are from Jesuit schools around the country, and 
they communicate with you via email and online platforms. The cost for a year-long class is $390, and for a semester course, it is $275, due to the fact that they are not our teachers teaching them, but teachers from other schools. People taking this course um, or any of these courses should be someone who is self-motivated, someone who is organized, and someone who does not mind working on their own. These courses really require someone who is diligent in their studies and um, someone that doesn't need a teacher standing over them to make sure that the work gets completed. We have a lot of new courses this year from AVLI. Freshmen and sophomores, as long as you have all your mandatory courses rostered in your schedule, you have the opportunity to take Playing with Legos, an introduction to computer programming through Lego building that is only offered in the first semester. Again, please make sure that if you are choosing this, you are someone who is able to work well on your own without having a teacher with you during a regular school day. Senior and juniors. We have the introductory astronomy, C++ programming, and computer game development, all for a half a year. Senior courses only include AP Environmental Science, AP Comparative Government, AP Micro, AP Macro, AP Computer Science. And the two amazing new courses that we are offering through AVLI are JRR Tolkien, a Gamified Journey Through Middle Earth, which is a half a year, and Zombie Apocalypse, Interdisciplinary Approaches to Problem Solving, half a year. So please check the course catalog online to see what the prerequisites are and to get more information about each of those courses. Now let's get into our individual department courses. Dr. Tori is the department chair for theology. And these are the courses offered for the theology in the different years. I want you to understand that things are a little different in the theology area this year. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it says each course every year is a half credit. You must pass each semester. Please, please understand that. This is not only for seniors this year, but it is for juniors and sophomores and freshmen as well. So you will take as a junior sacraments as privileged encounters with Christ one semester. You must pass that in order not to go to summer school. Then this next semester, you would have life in Jesus Christ. You must pass that individual course so you don't go to summer school. Each one is an individual course. And again, please remember that students are placed in classes based on teacher recommendations, PSATs, and performance series. So that also applies to theology. So make sure if you have any questions that you contact your theology teacher. Feel free to email me if you're confused. I have no problem with answering any emails whatsoever. We're here to help you. For the English department, Mrs. Zimborski is the department chair. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to contact Mrs. Zimborski through email. These are the course offerings for seniors. The AVLI course at the very bottom is the Tolkien course that I spoke about earlier. We have three half year courses available. Please understand, these are offerings in the event that there are, let's say, six students who decide they want writing for college. That course will not run because there are not enough of students. Therefore, this is one of those times where I would need an alternate to put in for you. That's why these alternates are so important. Also, remember that your teachers are currently looking at your data. So if you're interested in going to an AP course or an honors course, please understand that it all is determined by your PSAT's performance series, how your 
present grades are looking and your work ethic that you've had in class so far. Sophomores, you will have ELA 2 and many of you will get digital literacy. Junior courses, ELA 3, AP Language and Comp, and we are also offering you Media 1 for half a year. For the Social Studies Department, the department chair is Ms. Lawrence. Senior courses, Comparative Government and Economics is a CP class, but that is also a plus one class that we spoke about earlier in this presentation. Psychology honors class, and there's also an AP psych. That AP psych would satisfy the plus one as well. Sophomore courses, American Government and Politics, or AP US Government and Politics. Junior courses, US History, or AP US History. Again, not everyone gets into these courses. Please remember, it is based upon the data. Ms. Gradle is the department chair for the math department. You'll see here a listing of all the senior courses available. Also, you will see toward the bottom of the screen, um, second to the last, engineering by design using 3D. It is a revamped version of the CAD program. Mr. Ball has been working diligently to um, change the program a little bit more, and um, it's going to be a very exciting offering for the fall. So please consider that. Sophomore courses and junior courses are listed. Please remember, um, depending upon the level that you are hoping to be in, um, it really all depends on the data. So I'm encouraging you, if you haven't heard this from me yet, I'm encouraging you to contact teachers and contact Mr. McFadden or myself or guidance counselors and your family to discuss the best option for you. Mr. Salvatore is the department chair for science. Before we get into the offerings, I want to just discuss for a few minutes science labs. Do not worry about requesting a science lab. Some of the courses that we offer in science have the lab already built in to the course. Others have a separate lab period. For those having a separate lab period, I will be sure to roster you for that science lab. So you don't need to worry about any of the labs. Science full year courses. We have honors anatomy and physiology, CP anatomy and physiology, pathology, which is a new course, physics, AP bio, AP chemistry, and AP physics, which is new as well. Semester courses, we are offering forensics. Yes, that is a semester course this upcoming year. And two new courses, Allied Health and Drone Technologies. Please see the course catalog for the description and any prerequisites because some of these do have prerequisites. Also, when you're looking at the AP courses, again, remember about all the data that teachers are currently looking at, and if you need to contact a teacher, please do so as soon as possible. Ms. Salvatore is the department chair for World Languages. We offer World Language 1, 2, 3, and 4 in Spanish and Italian, and Latin 1 and 2. I want to take a moment and talk about the struggle that some people have in deciding whether or not to take a third or fourth year of a language. It's not always about the grade. It's what your transcripts are telling the admissions office of the college of your choice. It's about the message you're sending about yourself. An admission counselor from the University of Notre Dame stated that the student studying for four years has a genuine interest in knowledge and education, not just in fulfilling a minimum foreign language requirement. 
So that tells you a little bit about what colleges are looking at when they look at your transcripts. So please think very carefully and consider taking a third and or a fourth year of a language. It would really benefit you and your transcripts. Mrs. Faber is the department chair for health and PE. Both are state requirements and mandatory for graduation. Seniors, if you have not yet taken health or PE, please email me immediately. We need to make sure that you get both of these subjects so that you have everything you need to graduate. Mrs. Kirk is the department chair for the BCIT department. Junior and senior courses that are available this year, and some of this has changed, so please watch and listen carefully. Accounting one is a full year. Business law is now a half year. Entrepreneurship is a full year. There's Infotech and animation, and Microsoft certification, which is a new course. It is a full year, and you will leave with a Microsoft certification. Please look at the course catalog for more information concerning Microsoft certification. Senior only classes, accounting two full year and business finance half year. Mrs. Kramer is the department chair for visual and performing arts. In this area, we offer concert band, string orchestra, music tech one, vocal, performing arts, theater arts one and theater arts two. Please check the online course catalog because some of these descriptions have changed and have prerequisites. We also offer introduction to art, advanced art, art portfolio preparation, AP studio art, 2D design and Photoshop, and 3D design and materials. Let's take a look and see what 2D and 3D actually look like. These are examples of our student work from our 2D design class. If this is something that you might be interested in, please, by all means, look at the course description. And if you have any questions, email Mrs. Kramer. Examples of 3D, paper sculpture, paper mache and sculpted paper, plaster carvings. This is just a small um, sample of what you might end up doing as a student in 3D and materials. Let's just do a course recap. From, we have a lot of new courses, so I just want to go over these just briefly. Allied Health, AP Physics, AVLI courses, drone technologies. And one thing I did not talk about, or two things I did not talk about, were the Edgestair Drivers Ed and the SAT Prep. So for the Drivers Ed, it is only the academic portion, not the actual out in the street driving portion, just academic. And it's for grades 10, 11, and 12. There is also the Edgesier SAT prep for grades 10, 11, and 12 semester one only. And it's semester one only for the seniors because it will not do any good for you to have it in the second half of your senior year because you should have already finished your SATs. These two courses do have a fee attached because they are through Edgesir. Engineering by Design using 3D, aka CAD class. So please look at um, the course catalog for the description. Microsoft certification. Please also look in the course catalog for that because there is a fee attached to that for Microsoft because you will be certified. So there is a certification fee that goes along with that. And look at the description and see if it's something that would benefit you and the path that you would like to take for your future. And finally, the pathology course that is also in the course catalog, something brand new to our school, and we're very excited about all of these courses. Please, before you even make any decisions, look through our course catalog thoroughly 
and make sure that you're not missing anything because you can miss out on an awesome opportunity to take a class that you happen to skip over and weren't really paying attention. Earlier, we talked about a form that parents or guardians would need to complete, and this is that form. So we just need your first name, your last name, your year, so it's your, the student's first name, your last name, the year, and an upload of a PDF or photo of the course selection that you have completed. I want to see what you completed, um, just to make sure that there are no um, issues, that everybody's on the same page. And the bottom part is where your parent or guardian will check off the box saying that they have reviewed the course selection with you and agree to the courses that you have chosen for the upcoming school year and that they have an understanding. So that is the course selection form that will go out to all the parents and guardians later on. Finally, let's just keep in mind that this presentation will be online for you to refer back when needed. Please consult the course catalog online as frequently as you can. Look at it before you even start your, your course selection. Talk about classes with your family and friends and teachers. Remember to choose alternates, please, because I will have to choose them for you. The program requires alternates. And feel free to contact me with any questions you may have regarding the course selection process at cjulie at arhs.org. Thank you so much for all of your, your time and attention to this and enjoy course selection.